Hi guys! Well now we've learned all four of the rules for finding the key when you're looking at the key signature. We've talked about rule one, which was no sharps and flats equals the key of C. We talked about rule two, which is one flat equals the key of F. We talked about the rule uh, for flats, which is rule three. And that was the second to last flat equals the key. And rule four about sharps. And when you have sharps, you find the last sharp and go up one letter in the alphabet. So now we're ready to do some practice. So here we're going to look at our practice sheet. And the first two lines are about flats. And remember the rule for flats is you find the second to last flat, and that's your key. So here we look at our first problem and we see there's one flat. Well that actually is rule number two if you remember. So one flat is actually rule two and that was one flat equals the key of F. So this is actually going to be the key of F. So that's your answer and you'd write that right here. And our second question is two flats. If you remember our order of flats, bead, greatest common factor, so B-E-A-D, G-C-F, we know that these two flats are going to be B and E. And if you go backwards, one flat, that's B, so we're actually going to be in the key of B flat major. So you're going to continue on in that same fashion. Um, when you get to this one, remember, if there's no sharps and flats, what key are you going to be in? That's actually back to rule number one, so don't forget about that. When we come down to the sharps, uh, remember the rule for sharps, you're going to find the last sharp and go up one letter in the alphabet. So, if we have one sharp here, and we're thinking about our order of sharps, which is F, C, G, D, A, E, B, uh, we're going to find the last sharp, which in this case is the only sharp, F sharp. You're going to go up one letter in the alphabet, which would take us to G, so you're going to be in G major. For the second one here, we have two sharps. If you think about the order of sharps, you know they have to be F and C. And if you go to the last sharp, which is C sharp, and you go up one letter in the alphabet, you know you're going to be in D major. So you're going to continue on with the sharps. And then when you've gotten that finished, you're going to come down here, and the last four are a mix of all the rules. So here you're going to find one for each of the rules. So see if you can remember all four rules and put them into practice here. And now you should have mastered all four rules and you should be able to put them into practice and be able to identify any key. So good luck.